Hey there everyone, I'm Erin and you're watching Real Tubes. I'm making my video on Sunday because I was out of town this past week and I thought that I would have internet but I didn't and <clears throat> we don't have a host on Sunday so I figured it would be a good time to post my video for this week. Also, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to have to start making videos on Sunday regularly. Next week I'm starting this program where it's kind of like an art camp. I'm going to be in these cabins with absolutely no internet access at all for most of the week for the next five weeks. So, you know, I'll, I'll only have the weekend to make a video and then I'll have to upload it. And So Sundays might become my day. I'll talk about it with the other girls um, get back to you. This week we're talking about fear and overcoming fear. And it's a really good topic. Very, very, very big topic. You know, fear, there's lots and lots of things that you can say about it. And, experiences and how it applies to different parts of your life and etc etc. I think in a lot of ways fear is a really really good thing. It's a gift. It is our body's internalized control mechanism to tell us where and when danger is coming and to alert us so that we can protect ourselves. But I think for a lot of people fear can really be self-destructive just really really irrational and I, I think that a lot of times fear can really really be debilitating um, take away your quality of life and and you can get lost in it um, I have a friend who's agoraphobic which means that he is afraid to leave the house um, he's panic attacks because he's just so filled with fear I don't know I don't really know a lot enough about that to say to say anything about it or to give advice or anything like that. There's this book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway or something like that. It's this really, really good book. Uh, Self-help kind of book, but it's really good. And if you have like a lot of problems with fear in your life, if you find that it's like debilitating where it takes away your quality of life and it affects your relationships and what you want to do in your life, um, I'd very highly recommend that book. Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. When it comes to fear about like your body, or uh, rejection about your body. I think that I have a lot of experience with that. Um, and, you know, I, I can't say that I'm completely over that. I'm a lot, lot, lot better than I used to be, probably than I've ever been. You know, I still have fear of rejection and I still have fear of, uh, like, being, you know, exposed in public. I don't want to walk around in my bathing suit where there's a lot of people around. But really I've I've seen that when you acknowledge the fear and just accept, okay, I have this fear, I feel it. And we don't really try to control it and take it away, but just do what you're going to do anyway. That's what really works the best. When you get to a point where you you don't have the fear go away, but you don't let the fear control your life and control um, things that you would that you want to do, then it loses its power and you, you, you feel this liberation. I'm going to leave you all for now. I will see you next week and uh, we'll keep everyone updated about what's going on with the channel. Talk to you next week. Bye.